show This is Open Mic Radio That's right. Hello and good day. It is four o'clock on Saturday afternoon, which means it is once again time for open mic radio. Let's get it rolling with one from our featured guests this afternoon. This is Self Hug. That's the way we get the afternoon rolling here at KOPN. I like it. Welcome to the program. It is Open Mic Radio, Saturday, October 16th, I guess. I think so. I think so. Let's uh, grab some microphones. Yes, um, uh, Kurt, you grab, grab a green one. Rach, you can grab that yellow one. And maybe slide that one over for Zach. We'll see. Yeah, anyway, right <laughs> I know we're kind of we're kind of cramped here, but we're going we're gonna to work it out. All yeah. right. Um, it is a lovely mid-Missouri weekend. Certainly fall out right now. I love it. My favorite time of year. Hope you're all enjoying it out there. And uh, lots happening this weekend. It's cool that the weather is cooperating. So uh, enjoy it. Lots of music and fun in and around town. Hope you're involved in some of it. Okay. All right. It's Open Mic Radio. We do this every Saturday afternoon from 4 o'clock until 6. Live music and interviews with some of Missouri's finest musicians and bands. And uh, today, no different. I'm joined with my comrade, Kurt Kitson, of course. Hey. Hello, How you doing, my brother. Yeah. Providing the bumper stuff and some some wit yeah, along the way, but yeah, we feature uh, awesome local and regional music. You are. That's exactly <laughs> right. And uh, of course, in order to do that, if we're going to feature live music, we need to know who the live musicians are. Mm -hmm. So that means get a hold of me. Okay, send me music. Contact me. Rachel did it just a couple days ago. We're uh, um, 
sort of know each other a little bit from uh, from a couple of years back. But anyway, you got to get a hold of me if you want to get on the program and share your music with other people. Get a hold of me. Uh, so it's real easy to do on the line on the line on the web at uh, kopn.org. Just look for Open Mic Radio. You can also go to my website at mikehagan.com. That's H-A-G-A-N. And there's a button there that says Open Mic Radio and a real easy little contact thing. You can send me an email. And uh, anyway, real easy to get a hold of us. And it's not Friday morning at 9 o'clock anymore when we used to do this radio program. Yeah, now we it's now, relaxed now. Now, 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 <laughs> we're, we're now we, got, we got the upgrade to Saturday afternoon. We've been so, waiting here for over 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> so if you... Uh, if you're, you if you're out and about mic. this afternoon, even, come on down to the station. Say hi. We'd love to have visitors and uh, welcome you all down here. Just bring a good, good heart and good spirit. Okay? Also, uh, congratulations. Big win from Mizzou this afternoon. Oh, no. Uh, I guess uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> not. Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wasn't paying that close of attention. I guess they didn't do that well. Anyway, oh, no. you know, so that's a good way to, good way to piss so people off here in Columbia. They're like, God, what's wrong with Hagen today? <laughs> anyway, no, I am a fan. I just uh, just read the news wrong. Oh. Okay, um, send me music. All right, it's good to be here this afternoon. We're just going to move along. Hope things are going well for you. Big thanks to uh, uh, the folks with uh, One Mic for, uh, from 2 to 4, cool grooving music uh, every Saturday before this program. And stick around after the show. We've got uh, the wonderful Ra Shumba and a reggae party coming reggae at party. Uh, 6 to 8, the best yeah. in roots rock reggae. I mean it. The guy is just the best. And if you like... Roots, rock, reggae music. Tune in uh, 6 to 8 on KOPN tonight. And Blues on Broadway, 8 to 11, with uh, Chris. Wonderful stuff all night tonight uh, and into tomorrow. All right, so I'm very glad to be here this afternoon. Hope things are going well. Um, Last week, we had Big Cat Matt sitting in doing Rockabilly Corner. Once a month, uh, the second Saturday of every month, Big Cat Matt sits here and does the Rockabilly Corner show. And if you like Rockabilly music... It's a very, very cool show. Great show. Yeah, the yeah. guy. He, very knowledgeable. He really knows gentleman. his stuff, and he's very, he's a very interesting cat, no pun intended. Um, and to listen to his radio show is extremely entertaining, in my, in my opinion. And, and the music is, is top. So, uh, so once a month we do that with Matt. He did it last week. Had a great show. The week before that we were here with Andrew Ryan, a friend of mine from St. Louis, fantastic singer songwriter, and producer. Uh, from uh, St. Louis, and he actually played a house party that night, last Saturday night, um, I'm sorry, two weeks ago Saturday, uh, at my place out in Rochport, and we had a great time. So thank you, uh, Andrew, for that, and for all the other folks that came down and played that night, including uh, uh, Fox Deluxe, Johnny and uh, uh, and uh, Jordan came down and played a little bit too. They'll be here next week, as a matter of fact. Fox Deluxe will be with us in the studio and we'll get uh, some time to talk to John and Jordan. And I forget who's playing the drums. Is it next week or week after next, I believe? No, is it week after next? What's next week? Let me look at my, my fancy... No, no I think it's Fox Deluxe, I, I have to say. And then we got Elephant Foot coming after that, I think that's the one, who I like a lot. Nice. I only yeah. discovered them recently, but they're very good. I've heard, yeah. Yeah. Rachel, bring, bring that mic a little bit closer to you. Oh, there yeah, you go. For sure. All right. Um, okay, so uh, what else do I want to say? Okay, today we are joined by Zach Gaines. Yep. Do you, is it okay if I say your last name? <laughs> a little, yeah, too late, no, little, yeah. A little too late to ask. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've got, we've got Rachel Kelly, we've got Zach Gaines, and mm-hmm. uh, Brendan Knight. They are otherwise known as Self Hug. Oh, yep, yes. there it is. And uh, yeah, new. Uh, Punk rock, I guess, here in Columbia, Missouri, or at least yeah, I guess punk, got, right? kind of a punk edge sure. to punk it. Punk something, sure. yeah. All right. Okay. Um, I know Rachel a little bit. She was here with uh, Violence of the Violets a few years ago, or a couple years ago, her yeah, and her sister. Like two years, right? Uh, I think maybe more than that. Really? At least two. At least two. Okay. two, two yeah. In between two and three. Somewhere probably. around there. Um, anyway, that was actually a pretty fun project. And for and I think you guys were just doing it probably for fun. Or, or I don't oh, know yeah. how serious you were about oh, it. Oh, not. It was definitely just like, we want to make it an all-girls group. Uh, yeah. Have to do that in Columbia. Because there's only, I mean, Violet in the Undercurrents. And right, there, but right, right, yeah. right. I it's, wish we had more all-girls punk rock groups. I do, too. Yeah. I do, too. I mean, the, the, more, the, the more the better, as far as I'm concerned. I wish we had yes. more of everybody doing different things. Exactly. You know? But... Um, that's actually a question that I that I hadn't thought of, but but it's one to ask because I'm, I'm uh, what is it like being a being a girl in a in a scene that is mostly guys and uh, um, I don't know you've been around it for a little while now. Yeah. So. Well, I think that there was a like different sense 
uh, in an all girls group originally because we we were such big fans of like bikini kill and we went to like all girls rock camp so we just had this huge inspiration of like riot girl stuff so did you ever do phil sean's camp and all that were you yes, guys involved that's with where, that? yeah right. that's actually where okay. we met maddie Harmon. What, what a great project uh, it's lovely and it's just like such a beautiful memory in my head that's awesome yeah wonderful weeks i hope that they do I it forever as long as it possibly truly can, so. and they've made it like trans inclusive now so it's called y'all rock rather than coma girls rock right right so it's yeah it's wonderful but um you know there's been scenarios where as a young girl, especially because I started playing these gigs when I was like 13, 12 or something along those lines. People just, I mean, they truly do walk over you. Mm. Not that I was the best, but no, everyone deserves to it. be treated with the same level of respect. But I think for sure it's gotten better. And these guys are the best to play with. They don't ever... You. Yeah. <laughs> They're awesome. It's. I was kind of scared of joining an all-boys band, but... I, I like You're it just scared? the same. Just a little bit, yeah, for well, sure. Well, there's oh, only dang. two of them. It's not that. It's not like there's no, ten of them. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, yes. We're not so very intimidating. Hug actually right. meet and come together. How yeah. The so, three of you like. Yeah. Well, it was first off. It, first, we have a, a guitarist, Tilden. He couldn't make it today. And that's um, his first name or last name? Tilden. His that's his first Tilden name. Yeah. Solens, Tilden yes. Solens. Tilden Solens. He has music out like on streaming platforms. He's awesome. And then we had a bassist named Brian Johnston, Bummy Music. I've I've been in t- I've been in touch with Brian as a matter of fact. He yeah? told us, yeah. 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 He's, yeah. he's the one hosting the show tonight at PDM. Okay. Yeah. And he was the bassist and we all met like oh man, like maybe like two, three years ago, I think. And it just started out as like having jam sessions after school because we were bored. And then like yeah, and then we found Rachel. And she definitely brought a lot to it, so it's been really nice. All yeah. right. So, how long has the band actually been kind of together? Two, years, two or three years, probably. Two years. Probably. Two years? Yeah. Two I have years. been in it since June, I believe. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm new. All right. So, so the band was actually doing their own thing before Rachel mm-hmm, uh, yeah. came came on board. All right. Um, let's talk to Brendan here for a second. What's your What's your musical background? You got family music, or um, are you self taught? You a professional? Uh, you, you go to Juilliard? What's going on? <laughs> yeah. So I actually went to Berkeley and got a um, no. Um, I don't know. Uh, my granddad played music a lot, so I guess that's where I get that from. Okay. But I've been playing guitar since I was like eight, so that's been about two years. <laughs> and, <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. All right. And uh, are you uh, playing other instruments or just play the guitar? Um, I try and play other instruments. He's um, wonderful at drums. He won't say it, but he's a really yeah. good drummer. Okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> Won't take the compliment, but yeah, you can. All right. Well, I know Maddie plays. I'm, I'm sorry. I know Rachel plays a little bit of guitar. Mm-hmm. Um, and in fact, had a cool style. I remember what the. I, I don't know for some reason it st- stuck with me. So, do you ever mix it up in the band? Uh, okay, so you have a third. You have a. You have a second guitarist. Yeah. Who's not here? Yeah. What's his name again? Tilden Sellers. Tilden. Okay. Yeah. And what's his st- story? Um, he, he comes from a, uh, you can say anything you want about him because he's not here. Yeah, exactly. I can talk trash if I wanted to. I don't know if he's he's listening right now. He's the most handsome man. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I think he came from like some real small town called Licking. Yeah. Like way down in Missouri. And I think he's just like. I'm trying to. Yeah. Not make jokes. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's an interesting town name. And, um, yeah, he, I think he's been playing guitar his whole life and he's really good at guitar. He's really great at singing. The like singer songwriter stuff that he has out right now, it's like it's very it's it's really nice like being able to know people that are that talented. You know what I mean? It's like it's like dang, my friends are like really, <laughs> really talented at music. It's really awesome. Well, you'd probably be surprised because they're probably saying the same thing about you behind your back. So. I hope so. <laughs> um, it's a it. I've said it a lot of times, but it's a really cool scene here in Colombia, and there's a bunch of talented, oh, yeah. young, middle-aged, old, it doesn't matter where you're at, there's all Everyone, kinds of cool sure. mix and matching, and, and there's a lot of real great synergy, I think, between between the whole group of, uh, of musicians around here. So anyway, I've got lots of other questions, but let's, um, let's, do, it. let's, do, let's, let's do another song. Let's all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask Zach... Yeah. To try to lay off a little on the kit. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, no and I, problem. And I want more. I want a little more guitar and a little more bass. I turned mm. my amp up just a bit. Okay, and, and I think we might even be better to open that that door. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Um, I just pumped it. And I will tell everyone that they're listening to KOPN Columbia 89.5 FM. We're streaming on the web at kopn.org. And this is Open Mic Radio, Saturday to four, uh, blah, 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 Saturday four to six every week. Uh, we do it. So we're doing it again this week. We've got Self Hug with us in the studio today. Great, great name, by the way. It's so funny. I was telling my girlfriend that, that 
previously you had been in this band called Violence of the Violets. And she's like, she's like, oh gosh, it's like just such a sort of like uh, intense name it or is, something yeah. like that. I'm like, yeah, it was really pretty music though. And she's like, well, what are they called now? Now it's self hug. And it's like, now it's really intense music, but like really, really like Completely lovely name. Juxtaposition <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Well, nicely done. So, all right, we've got uh, self hug and uh, what are you going to play for us, Rachel? Uh, this is a cover of a Joyce Manor song called constant headache. All right, cool. All right. Yeah. Lower that one down. Let's try to get those amps, uh, Kurt. Yeah. And um, I think we're I think we're good. Let's just do it. Yeah. Okay. K O P N. Self hug. Here we go. Entirely screwed It's just a stubborn reminder One perfect night's not enough It's just a constant headache A tooth out of line They try to make you regret it You tell No, not this time But I'm a constant headache A deadpan device you hang me up Unfinished with the better part of me Very nice. All right. Uh, tell me a little bit more. What's the, what's the deal with that song? That's a cover from... A... Uh, Joyce Manor. Joyce Manor. Yes. Our other guitarist, Tilden Solens, great taste in music. He picked that cover out, and it's... Like he, he sings it so much better than I don't know. I can. I was it's so say, beautiful. Yeah, I said it sounds it sounds always really nice when you sing it. Uh, so. Her Thank voice you. suits it very well. I've never heard him sing it, but that Thank was you. that was awesome. All right. Very cool stuff. Self hug in the studio with us this afternoon. Uh, contact information. If they if people want to figure out who you are, where you're at, they want to say hi, they want to get you for a gig, how do they get a hold of you? So we have a uh, yeah. booking at gmail.com. Do you want to say that again? Once again? Scream yeah. it! Woo! <laughs> Self hug! <laughs> Self hug. at gmail.com. You, you could DM us on Instagram if you want. Or you could text yeah. us on our Facebook. Yeah. Don't yeah. do that. Or Brendan's actually. phone number, which is 573 1900. Exactly. All right, uh,. Zach. Yeah. Um, your turn. What's your background? You, you a local guy? Uh, Brennan, are you from here as well? Okay. So you, you Columbia native? Or yeah, I'm Missouri a Boone baby. What? Yeah. Boone baby. All right. Where'd you go to high school? Uh, Rockbridge. Yeah. Are yeah. you all Rockbridge yep. graduates? I know you are. I have not graduated yet, but yes. You're a senior though now? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Damn. You were young when you were here. <laughs> I was a baby. I was like 12. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, and you're Rockbridge as well, Brandon? Uh, or did yeah, you drop I just, out? I just started. So <laughs> no, that's right. He's only 10 years old. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, okay. So your your uh, music background, Zach? Yeah, pretty much. Like most of the people in my family have played music. My uh, aunt and uncle on my mom's side. My uncle on my dad's side. My grandpa. My mom. Which do you know? My mom. Uh, what's she's uh, a, a director of school of music, Julia. Julia Gaines. I certainly yeah. know the name. Yeah, that's yeah. my mom. Awesome. She's yeah. yeah she's yeah. been like encouraging me. She like she was the reason I wanted to play drums because she'd always play them. I'd be like, oh well. Now I gotta play drums because it's super cool. Right, and the drums always, are yeah. the the. Okay, I'm I'm sort of a closet musician. I don't do much in, yeah. in, out out and, out and about. But I'm a decent guitar player. But I would f- rather play the drums. I'm a horrible drummer, but it's the yeah. funnest it's, thing no, that I have yeah. in my house. I love playing the drums. Just like letting out all that energy. It's oh like, man, <laughs> yeah, and it's yeah. it's I don't know. There's something about it. I, I like it for sure. So so uh, so you've been primarily a drummer your whole musical career here, or do you play some other things? I know how to play some piano, and I know how to play a little guitar. I know how to like I know the pentatonic scale, mm-hmm. which I learned off YouTube, yeah. which is you know not much but i guess it's something and it's yeah. amazing what you can learn uh on uh, watching yeah. youtube i Truly. mean re- i mean good bad and ugly but yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. but it's really remarkable that the the and it's really cool that people who are talented at stuff take the time to make For videos free. and and show people how they do it or, yeah. or 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 tips and styles and whatever i mean it's remarkable actually so. yeah really Anyway, really cool. All right, um, uh, is this your first band, second band, or? Uh, uh, I I don't think you remember, but I came here with a band called Eat My Head, like a oh, couple God. years. You remember that? I do. I do remember. That was one of the that was one of the craziest shows we had <laughs> for, for, for for Friday morning at nine o'clock. Yeah. What was the kid's name? Who was Ben? Uh, Ben, yep. he, he went to Israel, I think, for yep. a while. Did he yes. ever come back? I, yeah, I think so. I, we um, played a show with him at Eastside a couple weeks ago. Is, so he's still in the, yeah, in the music he's scene. In a, he's in a band called Soup. Help My Brain Is Soup. Yeah. Well, hey, I, I actually yeah. I actually thought he was great. I mean, he certainly is uh, fearless. He's and, a character. And, <laughs> yeah, fearless is a great word to you describe know, and, him. Yeah. And not, not afraid to express himself. And, and there's, sure. there, there's that, that'll take you a good way. Is in, Confidence is key, truly, it, yeah. It certainly helps, you know. <laughs> certainly helps. All right, well, tell Ben I said hi if you, For if sure. you see him. I'm sure he'll he'll let me know, trust yeah. me. Uh, all right, well, cool. Um, I didn't realize that was you when you were here. Yep. There, there was, yeah. And there was a third one of you here. Maya. You want to know the funniest thing about that show mm. is that over all of the uh, the time that I've done this show, I've only had a couple of people give me anything. Yeah. And this is not a, a, a request, but... You guys gave me an "Eat My Head" T-shirt. Oh, that's right. And, and it was like it was like the, the biggest piece of crap T-shirt. No, it was horrible. It we just, like it, ironed it, it had on. Like this iron-on thing, and yeah. it was all kind of crumpled. And, yeah, it was probably probably into the washing machine a couple times. I, it's, I, it was awesome. I washed it once, and it got all kind of yeah, crumbly. Yeah, totally, probably and, all uh, fell off. No, nah, it's still it's still got the. It, it, and it looks hip. It looks like it's a cool. I would like, love punch. to see yeah. a picture of that. Yeah, I've yeah. only worn it once or twice. I don't ever want to wash it again because that'll that'll be the end. Yeah, of it. yeah, oh, <laughs> literally. Yeah, it's just <laughs> poorly made. Right. Anyway, that's uh, that was funny. Eat my head. Yeah, yep. I, remember, I remember thinking he was uh, fu- funny. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, he's a definitely a character. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, yeah, it's amazing how people though are you know moving around, still doing their own things. I'm, I'd I'd be very interested to see what Ben's doing these days. To be honest. I'm yeah, sure, I'm his sure band it's, help uh, my brain is soup. Yeah, well, going crazy, staying along yeah. the same lines. Eat my head, brain is soup. Yeah, Eat my brain name. soup. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. Make a comeback. <laughs> Collaboration, <laughs> right? All right. Um, so, uh, want to play another one? How many? How many you got in your bag today? We got so many. We can just fill up as much time yeah. as possible. That's what I want to do. As much music as we can get, and we're Love and we're it. getting the sound a little bit better now. That last one, that last one was much better than the first. Okay. I'm not playing so, too loud. No, you're good. Last, you're you're uh, you're. Um, your level was really good on the last song. Keep it around there if you Sweet. can. And then, and and Kurt, you got them good. So, Kurt's running sound for us as well today. So thank you for that, thank my you. friend. Running around the sound. Kurt, um, later in the show, we'll we'll talk with Kurt a little bit. I I love having him here because he has a really interesting musical background. In fact, uh, I'm wearing a Holy Frog shirt, which is his uh, former band. Uh, 
about a decade ago, maybe a little bit longer than that, here in Columbia. Um, about right. Yeah. Uh, but also, he hung around with Blind Melon and Stone Temple Pilots Whoa. and... Uh, nice. And oh, my God. Meat Puppets and... Meat uh, Puppets? I, yeah. Yes. All kinds of these. So so we'll have him tell us a sto- some stories in a little oh, bit please. here. Please. Yeah. Please, yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, it's always good to meet a fellow puppet head. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know many people that know about Meat Puppets. Oh, yeah. There's some uh, excellent band. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, Self Hug with us in the studio this afternoon. Pleasure to have them here. Thanks very much for coming, you guys and girls. And uh, Rachel, Zach, and Brennan. Self Hug. You can find them on the web, Instagram, et cetera, Facebook. And uh, one more time, Self Hug Booking at Gmail. Self Hug dot booking at Gmail dot com. <laughs> that was an awesome sound. Uh, very nice. We got to get him to do some voiceovers for us. All right. Self Hug dot. Uh, booking at gmail.com. All right, we're going to get another one here from Self Hug. This is uh, Mike. You're listening to Open Mic Radio on KOPN Columbia, and we're on the web streaming at kopn.org. Hello to everyone out there, by the way. I'm looking at my my uh, my little map, and there's a bunch of red dots all over the place. That oh, means nice. people are listening all over. So, yeah. hello, everyone out there. Thanks for listening, and hope you're enjoying the program. All right, Self Hug. Anytime you guys like. Rock and roll. Love it. What's that one called? Uh, that one is Zenza Zenzik. Yeah. Zenzi Zenzik. Zenza Zenzik. Zenza yeah. Zenzik. <laughs> All right, that's one that uh, I actually have a, uh, a demo version of here in my, uh, my little jump drive here that Rachel sent me earlier today. So let's talk a little bit about that, about... Um, First of all, writing music. Uh, is that that's an original? Um, yes. Yep, that was the first song we ever wrote. Really? Not yeah. with me, though. So. Okay. Yeah. That was with, uh, yeah, Tilden and Brian. Okay, so um, how, are you prolific writers? Are you writing a lot of material? Or do you, or, or do you have, uh, you know, just a little bit? Or do you all write? I've got all kinds of different questions. First one, do you write a lot of material? Yeah, I, I say we do. We have a bunch of original songs that we have. We do like playing covers because it's like, I think playing covers, it's like, it's kind of like practice almost. You know, like for originals, you like if you can play a cover well, then you can probably play an original well. It like helps you play with your band. I think it, it helps nice. you learn too. I think. Yeah. I think I don't. There are very few people that that 
played any particular instrument and didn't come up kind of trying to imitate yeah. their favorite artists and yeah, try yeah. to play their favorite songs. And it's a great way to, to get it. And then you develop your style that way a lot of times, too. So. Yeah. I will brag on these two, though, because both of them have, like, solo stuff. Zach makes his own stuff, and Brennan is currently putting out some metal stuff. Nice. So they both oh, yeah. write beautiful songs on their own. They write a lot. All right. Are you collaborating with other people for other projects? Uh, not really. <laughs> I, <don't think. laughs> I mean, Bummy, I, I like, he, the songs, that he, I'm on a couple of his songs. I think I helped him make some of that. Right. Yeah, that's prob- that's about it, honestly. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, when you guys write, is it generally as a collective, or do you individually bring songs to the table for the band? Well, um, Zenza Zenzik was definitely a collaborative effort, but some of the times, um, I'll like when I'm bored, I'll just write up a couple chords or write a melody, and then I'll bring it to them, and then um, we'll play it. But recently, it's been a lot of Brendan who's been writing some of the songs, mostly some of the songs that we're gonna play tonight at uh, PDM was written by Brendan, and apparently it's going to be on his... His metal, metal album. Yeah. yeah, that he's making. All right, all right, cool. It's definitely... I feel like writing is definitely a collaborative effort. Like, yeah, I think so. Yeah, even if somebody develops sort of the core of the song, you bring it to the band, and kind of everybody and they build adds their it. own thing yeah. to it. And, and it just, keep, like, every time we practice, maybe the song will change a little bit, and, like, if we like a change, we'll keep the change, mm-hmm. and it's like, I don't know, it kind of grows organically, I guess, that yeah. way. It's funny how many songs that I hear from, from bands that maybe wrote the song five years ago, and to hear them play it live now would yeah. be a completely different song. Well, maybe not, but it's very different than it was the first time they played it. So you, you see that happening a lot, yeah, I think. Probably because you know sometimes you like get bored of a song if you keep playing it all the time. So you're like, all right, let's change it. Let's maybe play it faster. Let's play it slower. Right. Let's add a new lead part or something. And then that's how like yeah, songs get changed after a while. I think. All right, um, the uh, your other guitar player, he's a songwriter as well, I guess. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's got his own. He's got how many EPs out? Two. 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 Mm, they're both beautiful. Oh my his god, amazing. His new album, Tilting at Windmills, is out huh. on all streaming services. So listen to Tilden Solens. All right, we'll check it out. Tilden, we, should, we need to get him in here another time. We'll, saying, yes. we'll get you guys to come back and we'll bring Tilden with. Super sad that he had to miss it today. You know, um, I'm thinking about uh, figuring out a way where we can do the show with the band in the other room. I think that would be smart. <laughs> you know, if we could run some mics over there into the into the the actual library into the the Ashlock room over there, yeah. uh, awesome. we could we could even invite a few people and have a little little, oh, little show. Awesome. You know what I mean? <gasps> yeah. So anyway, we'll. We keep thinking totally about that, it, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Um, what about uh, you? Sent me some demos of some recorded material. Uh, that means that you are recording. So, do you do that? Do you have home studio? Do you record it somewhere local here in town? Do you, are you are you doing it on your iPhones? I mean, uh, how, how do you go about recording? And do you have plans to do uh, yeah. more of it? Well, so. Let's, <laughs> yeah, let's just say that um, we kind of made a little mistake and um, things didn't work out between us and our label, which, by the way, we appreciate, you know, the opportunity, Terrapin. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Ruel, for giving me discounts on strings. Um, but, yeah, that, that, that wasn't working. So um, <laughs> we decided that we would just buy our album from them and just like re-record it maybe so okay so back up so you actually had signed a, a contract with somebody had a little had a record deal with a with a a, a local yeah. uh, label you know, ter- or something terrapin like that. records okay i'm familiar yeah with them and we recorded a little bit at their house and then we definitely like uh when we got back to stems we did a little re-recording at my house i have like you know like a audio interface like an at 2020 mm-hmm. just a laptop you know sure. and some yeah. cords that i plugged in we Kind of redid them, and that's what the demos are that we sent you. It's like a, it's like there's some recordings from Terrapin and some from our basement that I, you know. Okay. But we are together. working on a second album, I think. Yeah. But for the first one, you actually had to go back and buy the rights for your own stuff back. Yeah. <laughs> well, we didn't even buy the rights. We just bought the stems. Yeah. Which I mean, you know, we was, we did good with. Yeah. Not. Re- mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So, uh, so that, so those are the. Uh, uh, the demos that you gave me, yes. and then you have another album that you're working on. Well, so we kinda. have like four, we kind of have shows in rotations of two weeks right now, so we're pretty focused on playing mm-hmm. our best show. for those. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So uh, our plan after is to kind of take a little bit of a break and do a good writing session. Put a session. record together. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Record, do what we can between 
all of us. Okay. Yeah, hopefully get Tilden in there, too. All right, great. Okay, so you have a show tonight. Yes. Where? PDM. So PDM tonight. Oh, I'm, can we even say where PDM is? I, if, if you know where it is, you know yeah, where it is. Ask a punk. Or, yeah. 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 But but find your way there. It's a lot of fun to see shows there. As a matter of fact. 8 p.m. Um, Five dollars at the door. It okay. Nine. It's at eight. I'm oh. lying. It's eight. So come at eight. <laughs> come at eight. Five dollars at the door. Uh, bring your vaccination cards, please. Okay. Um, this is a show with other bands as well. Oh yeah. Yeah. So we got uh, Lauren Stokes. Bummy Music, Blackwater's making a comeback tonight. All right. Uh, and then previously known as Mushroom Patrol, uh, it's going to be Suffer the Masses. They've rebranded. I don't know if you remember Adaptation members. Uh, yeah, I certainly. Yeah. I, I like Kyrie. I think he's a real talented guy. Kyron, and so Nick Wilkerson, the drummer uh -huh. that was in the Adaptation, has started a new band, and they rock. They're so cool. Really? So they're going to be playing yeah. with us tonight. All right. Well. Very cool. Okay, sounds like a fun show at PDM tonight. Oh, yeah. Uh, so find out where that's at and uh, ask a punk. You can you can, uh, <laughs> yeah. you can find, find a cool, cool bit of music tonight down there at PDM. What else do you have coming up? Anything else? You said you got a couple other shows? Cooper's Landing, October 3rd. 30th come to that um, fun yeah and then i believe november november 6th, 6th at the uh experimental festival at the oh, courthouse gosh. Nice. yeah the uh I, I i actually have that on my list you know in a little bit here you guys will go we'll go through a list of some of the things that are happening tonight and tomorrow around town but um november 4th through the 7th is the I think it's the fifth annual, believe it or not. I can't believe it's that many already, but it's the fifth annual Columbia Experimental Music Festival, and that's at a number of different venues all around town, including some cathedral, the chapels and uh, un unlikely um, venues, perhaps, for, 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 for music, and unlikely uh, expressions of music, too. You're going to see some really, really cool, trippy, interesting, unique, creative stuff. I've been there... Uh, as many years as they've had it, and I'm never disappointed. And I, and I, I'm always blown away by by somebody uh, over over the course of that weekend. So check it out, the Columbia Experimental Music Festival. That's uh, um, sponsored by Dismal Niche. Uh, yep, mm -hmm. real cool bunch of cats that are. Uh, running that. In fact, uh, Matt Crook, Matthew Crook, who, who is basically the head of Dismal Niche, was down here with me a couple weeks ago, and we oh, nice. we we had a, we had a real fun show and played a bunch of the old music that they used to. Uh, uh, I don't know. I guess I won't say produce, but kind of. You know. You know what's that that whole gang? Tell 'em tapes yeah, and exactly. uh, we have a show with Tell 'em tapes on the. In a couple of weeks, if I can pull it 13th, up. 13th, the PDM. At PDM again. I'll tell you what, Brendan is like the manager of the band, oh, he too. Knows. He has no, got yeah. the thing down. He's like, <laughs> yeah. knows exactly. And he's I got wrote the it all my notes, too. and I can't find them. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so um, a lot of cool stuff coming up, y'all. Sounds like it's going to be a fun fun yeah. winter, maybe. Oh, yeah, we're excited. Oh, yeah. All right. Sure. When's that Cooper show? 30th. Yeah, October 30th from 6 to 9. And Effie Lillig will be playing with us and Kyron. <laughs> Both, well, so. both very, very talented. Effie uh, was here with me a couple of years ago when she was just kind of getting going and yeah. uh, and just lovely and beautiful voice. And uh, I can't imagine. I bet she's sounding really, really good. Uh, yes. We played a Stevens show with her a couple of weeks ago, and it was a it was a pretty large crowd. And she got up there all on her own, played her own beautiful material for 30 plus minutes. Yeah, yeah. She's just an insane performer and a lovely human. Yeah, we're so stoked. Effie, to be we to love you. Her. Effie, we are. Yeah. <laughs> Call me and we'll, I want to have you come back here and we'll do another show. You I'll let her know. And you can come back with Rachel, whatever. We'll, oh, yes. just have, we'll just have a, make it a big family affair. So oh. anyway, um, let's take a little bit of a break here. I'm going to let you guys take a break too. And I'll, we'll, we'll play a piece of recorded material. Um, I've got a few of them here. I kind of want to hear... Uh, well, let's start with the first one, For the Time Being. Okay, tell me a little bit about that before, before we play ahead. it. Zach's smiling, so. <laughs> well, For the Time Being is the song we like to end shows on because, <laughs> yeah. So we'll play it right in the middle of this one. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's I think, our longest song because it, uh, it's like you want to say something? Minutes, yeah. Oh, well, I tell you what, then, let, let's hold it then, and we will. Yeah, we'll, for we'll, sure. we'll end the show with it because we have to have a, a reasonably long song to end the show because I've got to transition to the next guy. Yeah. So. We have the perfect one then. So, so uh, all right. Zach, do you want to tell him what it, what it, uh, What's this, what it's about? Uh, is it? <laughs> Do you want to? <laughs> Not <laughs> really. <laughs> Yeah, the lyrics are up to your own interpretation. <laughs> Should we do Masochistic Machine then? Yeah. All right, that's the one that we'll play here. This is what um, we open with. The shows with. All right, yeah. and and this is a uh, old song, new song. Who wrote it? Old song. Old song. Old song. Yeah. That we Zach are. wrote and we expanded on. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Um, 
Stick around, everyone. We'll come back with Self Hug in just a few minutes, and we'll hear one of their. Uh, this is a demo piece, so 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 don't judge it too harshly. It's not not uh, yeah. mastered and mixed <laughs> completely yet, but uh, I'm I'm thrilled they shared it with us, and I haven't heard it, so I'm 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 looking forward to it as well. So, um, come on back. We'll be back with you in a few minutes, and it's Mike Open Mike Radio KOPN Columbia on the web KOPN dot org, and this once again is Self Hug with Masochistic Machine. Pizza guy, yeah, my favorite song, fuck yeah, I love the song, Pizza guy. Yeah. All right. Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> that was awesome. That was a, a song called Masochistic Machine. I guess that's uh, Zach Gaines' composition. Yeah. And uh, performed lovely by his bandmates as well. All right. It's Mike, and you're listening to Open Mic Radio on KOPN Columbia. We're about 4.45. Hope you're enjoying the Saturday afternoon. Just a beautiful day out there. Lovely weather. And... Um, We've th- been listening to Self Hug. We are, yeah, that's right. Self Hug in the studio. With where'd, where'd you come up with the name? It was Tilden, I think. We were just like uh, listing a bunch of random names, random idea names we had in like a group chat, and it was just one of the names, and we were all just like, "Yeah, that one's awesome." It's nice to say it's short. I keep you a know. running list of band names on my phone or, oh, or, yeah. or, or yeah. Poten- oh, yeah. potential oh, band yeah. names. Of course, and it's actually really funny because they're over time you actually get some pretty good ones you know so anyway okay um uh let's take a few minutes and look around town and see what's happening tonight we know that you guys are playing at pdm with a bunch of other cool bands that's an eight o'clock yep. doors or eight o'clock show eight p.m starts uh yeah. doors i think yeah we play what? at 11 is it <laughs> okay yeah eight p.m doors. we play at 11 other people play before us so come watch them <laughs> yeah. okay cool so get in there around eight o'clock we play at music eight thirty nine o'clock something like that tonight down at pdm uh rose music hall tonight uh 16th of october fright i'm sorry food fright part do uh-huh uh featuring many colored death i don't understand really but I guess it's a rock and roll show because Many Colored Death is there, and they're an excellent band and uh, a lot of fun to watch. So that's happening at Rose tonight. You also have Godzillionaire, Amethyst, and uh, oh, I guess so. So 
it's a Halloween themed thing, but I'm not sure why they call it food fright because it sounds like there's going to be a food fight is what it sounds like. I don't understand. Food fright. Do. Food fright. Do. Um, tomorrow at Rose, the Flood Brothers. Awesome. If you've not seen the Flood Brothers, check them out. Great blues and uh, uh, rock and roll from cool bunch of cats. Uh, that's tomorrow night at Rose Music. That's actually early. Oh, I wonder if they're doing that outside. 4.30 doors. 5 o'clock show tomorrow. I guess it's Sunday, so they're doing it early. All right. Anyway, Flood Brothers tomorrow afternoon, 5 o'clock until whenever. It's just them tomorrow night. Um, at the Blue Note, Ryan Niemiller. I think he's a comedian. As seen on America's Got Talent. Oh, God help me. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I, 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 I can barely stomach any of that stuff. Um, anyway, if you know who Ryan Nee Miller is, uh, he'll be at the Blue Note tonight. I think it's comedy. Uh, I've been told it's a comedy show tonight, yeah. Okay, all right. That sounds, sounds good if you're in the mood. Um, my eBay summary is ready. I just see that and get a notification. <laughs> That's nice. great Great to know. Um, back to music, though. The dive bar tonight. You better bid now while you have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> this item got away from you. Um, the, okay, at the dive bar, they're doing some pretty cool music stuff um, on the weekends now. Let's see if I can figure it out. Events. Have you ever been down there? Have you ever played a gig down at the dive bar since they kind of turned it into a music place? I don't even know where that place? is. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Please it's right. On, it's right on the um, on the business loop, right around college, right? Uh, yeah, oh, and um, they're a little bit down from there. It's like business loop and like range line. I want to say. Yeah, in between, in between, okay. like yeah. Um, and it's it used to be an out. They used to have a big outdoor sand volleyball uh, volleyball area. I mean, you know, like like uh, regulation or whatever. So a very yeah. big area, and. Uh, they sold the place and new management decided that they weren't doing the best thing with their space. So they, they took all that sand, which is perfect for putting pavers in. So they paved that all with bricks Dang. and, and now it's a huge outdoor music That's patio awesome. and they do a really good job actually. Um, uh, for, for, a, for a relatively new music venue around town, they've been doing really well. Uh, as a matter of fact, tonight we have, uh, uh, Bart and red man. I'm not sure who that is. Um, Sure, I think it's, I, no, it's Decadent, Decadent Nation. Nation. Decadent Nation. Uh, tonight, 8 o'clock to 11. Yeah, go ahead and grab that, Kurt, that, that green mic. Cause, um, Hello, microphone. Who, who's Decadent Nation? Is that, is that Pete Skolka and, and, no, and those guys? I'm not familiar with that group, but I, I like the name. They've been around for a long time. I think it is. Hey, by the way. I the bet f- they took that off your list. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, the phone number's here, 573-443-8255. And 573-443-7380. If you have something going on or if there's something that we're missing, you can call us here and say hi and tell us uh, what's on your mind. Okay. You got to be reasonably friendly, though, because I don't have any screeners. It's, it's, it, this is the best place to take phone calls, though, because you never know who's going to be on the other line and you just got to kind of go with it. So um, anyway, 573-443-8255 if you want to call and say hello. Um, we will take your call. We will. I will just answer it and just put you right on the air and, yep. and uh, you know, damn the torpedoes. So uh, the Bernie sisters. No, that was last week at, uh, at, at the dive bar. So we have Decadent Nation tonight at the dive bar. It starts about 8 o'clock, doesn't yeah, it, I yep. believe? 8 to 11. Cooper's Landing, Bait Shop Boys right now. Uh, they're playing this afternoon, 2 to 5 at Cooper's. If you're out there, hello. Um, why are you listening to us? Um, Billy Fornis, tonight from 6 to 9, doing a, Ga- uh, a Ghani, Ch- Ghani Cash. Johnny, Johnny Cash. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's a tribute or what, but apparently playing some Johnny Cash. You remember the days when you couldn't play any covers down at Cooper's? It could be Johnny Cash actually playing Bill Farmer. <laughs> back from the so back in black. It's on the to Halloween, <laughs> right? Uh, so that's happening tonight at uh, at Cooper's. Bill Fornis. Uh, tomorrow they got um, South Florida chicken and ribs all day, and Al Jolly uh, from from uh, St. Louis playing from two to five. Al Jolly's. Awesome. I've been trying to get him on the show here for a couple of years, and it's only because that he doesn't live close that we haven't been able to pull it off, and because it used to be Friday morning. Might have a better chance now with Saturday, but he um, uh, does a solo show, uh, plays a blues guitar, basically, but you'd be, it's hard to believe it's only one guy. Very, very 
uh, skilled. Well, let's dude. get him in here. Yeah. Anyway, Al Jolly tomorrow at Cooper's Landing. That'll be fun. Catfish Katie's. Have you been out there? Have you seen what they do like at the station house out there? Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Seen a lot of good music out there in the last couple of years. Um, tonight, it is uh, the River Kittens at 5 o'clock. And they're a lot of fun. A couple of young ladies from somewhere on the river. I forget which town. It's like Glasgow or something like that. But anyway, River Kittens tonight and then Sea Rock City tomorrow out at Catfish Katie's. More fun tomorrow afternoon, uh, 2 o'clock. Sea Rock City's a real fun band as well. So and that starts at 2. Yep, that's at 2. And a lot of fun down by the river today and tomorrow. It should be a beautiful day tomorrow. Enjoy tomorrow. it while it lasts. Yeah. We got, we've got a few more weeks maybe of decent weather here. And then, and then the Missouri winter, which... It's gonna be like four months of depression. Isn't that the? It's just the I, yeah, I don't. I don't look forward to it. But me neither. That's all right. We'll make it. Make it through. All right. Um, about a few minutes before the top of the hour. You want to play another one? Let's We'd do love it. to. Do you guys want to play a cornflake? Yes. Yeah. Cool. I thought you were going to do a cover of a corn song. Oh, that would have been awesome. I'm like, damn, this <laughs> no. ought to be amazing. <laughs> I so wish. This we is a, <laughs> Yeah, just on the spot. Uh, this is another cover, actually, of a song by the Psychedelic Porn Crumpets. I don't know if you've heard that. Love them. Fantastic. Love them. Yeah. yeah. San Francisco uh, Psychedelic Rock, basically. Yeah, but, they're yeah. so cool. Psychedelic Porn Crumpets. And in fact, I featured them on a show. Not on this show. I do another... Anyway, yes, excellent band. Yeah. All right, cool. This is uh, Self Hug. You're listening to it here. It's Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia, 89.5 FM. We're streaming on the web at kopn.org. Just a few minutes before 5 o'clock on Saturday, the 16th of October. Hope you're doing well out there. We're having a good time this afternoon, and we hope you are too. I got Rachel and Zach and Brendan here, and they're going to jam one for us here. This is the Psychedelic Porn Crumpets, interpreted by Self Hug. Nice.
That was perfect. That that was exactly exactly we have, have never gotten that in. song right. Ever. Hey, that's uh, that, that that's re- reasonably complicated music, man. Those Fairly. licks are, they're, the timing is crazy on a lot of that stuff. Oh, but for sure. excellent band though. Those guys are great and uh, a lot of a lot of fun music. There's another band. Um, Gosh, who are that uh, that that reminds me of them a lot? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try to. Uh, nah, I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna waste the time on it. But, um, cool stuff. All right. Yeah. Waste yeah. the time on your memory. Yeah, you know how it goes. <laughs> Short term memory loss yeah. and all that. It's only a two hour show, Mike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. There we go. Yeah. Um, okay, it's uh, close enough to five o'clock that we'll say that it's top of the hour. So I'll do the. Uh, official stuff. This is KOPN Columbia 89.5 FM and we are a service, broadcast service of the New Wave Corporation and we appreciate the support. KOPN is community sponsored volunteer operated radio and we can't do it without you. So if you dig what you're hearing, give us a call, say hello and uh, more important, support the station with your time, effort and checkbook. All right. You can uh, donate securely online at www. That's three W's with a dot and a K-O-P-N dot org after it. That's right. Thank you, Kurt, for no. doing that while I'm doing this. Illusions Plus all have... There's some adult party I have to tell people about. I'm, I didn't even know I could do that. <laughs> adult party? Are we not allowed? No, you're, you're only 10 years old, Brent. Oh, no, it's uh, Zach. All right. No. Um, no, see, this is like the, an illusion plus what the hell? Rainbow House, Unchained Melodies. I can't find it. I'm sorry. I'm supposed to read this thing, but I'll. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the All, ha- All Hallows Adult Illusion Plus. Okay, there you go. Sounds <laughs> sounds interesting. Good. Yeah. It sounds it's very gonna, fascinating. It's going to be awesome, you guys. So make sure you check that out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. What else uh, do we want to talk about? So when you when you you're talking about releasing material sometime reasonably soon, next few months or something, right? Or, yeah. Or within the next year, let's call it that. Will you actually release? Um, a physical record, or you're going to make CD, or you're going to do tell them tapes, or are you going to do uh, uh, online only? Or I don't know if we're allowed. Are we allowed to talk about the tape thing? I have no idea. Hopefully, one day we'll, well have you tapes. Just did. Yeah. <laughs> There will we'll, be a tape thing. Someday. There might be, yeah. All right. We'll have hopefully in a, maybe a month or so. We'll have the demo tape out on actual cassette tape. Cool. That hopefully we can circulate around, circulate, circulate around Columbia. But if we record like something in the next coming months, it'd be really cool to have it on a record, I think. I like a physical copy of it. So hopefully, yeah, that'd be really cool. All right. Sounds good. Um, is is the band pretty much going to stay the way that it is? Are you pretty happy with the makeup of the band now? You've yeah. Got, including? With the four piece? Silton? Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Right. Yeah. Hope so. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. Who are you gonna play with? Do you have anybody that you'd like to uh, collaborate with, that do a show with that you haven't done, that you haven't played with yet? Mushroom Patrol, but we're doing that today. Tonight, That's yeah. tonight. <laughs> you guys are looking forward to the show tonight. I can tell. Oh, oh yeah, gosh, I'm yeah. very excited. How long have have, have you been planning this one? Um, uh, about a month. Yeah, a month or two. Yeah. yeah. We've been practicing hard for it though, so hopefully yeah. it'll. This sound week has good. been tiring. A lot yeah. of practice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Bummy Music Media came to us and. Um, Got us in on this show. Yeah, so thank you to Bummy Music. He thank has you, organized Brian. this whole thing with uh, Kelly Betts. And that's Brian Johnston, yes, correct? Yes, correct. And hey, Brian, I haven't gotten back to you on, on Instagram yet, but I, I'll, I'll send you a note soon, all right? Appreciate you getting getting with me. And in fact, I, I need to say that to a number of people. Uh, <laughs> I, I for, for a while, when I moved the show from from Friday to Saturday afternoon, there was a period of time there where it was kind of in limbo and I wasn't doing a whole lot. Mm-hmm. Um, so for the first few weeks i really didn't have a whole lot going on and now all of a sudden i got too too much and i'm i'm trying to schedule everything everybody out wants to come hang out everybody with wants it's to fun. come and do that well it's 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 it is fun and it's it's awesome community radio this is what it's about Love having it, yeah. local regional talented people come and share their music with the rest of us it's with all, an awesome host well i do my best i appreciate <laughs> appreciate that thank you very much but i love it and i couldn't be more happier to do it so um once again if you'd like to appear on this program get a hold of me and um uh, it's real easy to do and send us a little bit of what what you're what you're doing and and me and kurt will gladly uh 
do what we can to, to get you back here. Don't you yeah. think, Kurt? Yes. Um, Kurt, tell it's story time. I want to hear. I want to hear. Story I want to hear. Like uh, once upon a time. So when when I first met Kurt, uh, it's been a few years, um, but we really hit it off because I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not sure how it even came came across the conversation but i was saying something about uh, blind melon which was one of my favorite rock and roll bands from from the 90s and the, the guy who sang for blind melon was a, a dude named shannon hoon who was about as talented as i had heard in in years and unfortunately he had a very untimely death like 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 many many artists not just artists but every, you know life is short you never know right he couldn't get over that 27 year isn't that weird how the tw- the twenty seven year man. curse or something twenty seven club yeah yeah 27. but anyway it turned out that Kurt was very close friends with uh, with Shannon Hoon and toured with them and all this stuff and and I was like okay I have to become friends with with this guy <laughs> <laughs> and that's not the only reason we were friends right before that. yeah but I I'm 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 thrilled to have you as a friend because I, I just love hearing you tell stories about that stuff but i heard um uh, stp was on the radio when i was when i was driving in this afternoon and it was uh was it driving faster in my car whatever that oh, yeah. what, what's nope. what's that one time to take. <laughs> yep. anyway okay tell me a story come on a story an stp a stone temple pilot story didn't you what you were hanging and with them yes it was we was scott Wheeland as much of a crazy drug head as everybody thought he was yeah, or was he, that all bullshit mm, he had fun he had his fun <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah the sad thing about scotty is they would always put like they would assign somebody to him when he would start to you know clean up his act what do you mean he, something to, to keep an eye on him yeah to keep an eye on him or whatever and they would usually last oh i don't know anywhere from a week to two weeks before they'd figure out that was his new connection and why he was disappearing, so instead of helping him, you know. Oh, instead like, of being instead like Instead of sh- helping him not do it, it was more. Getting high with him. And yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So, that was kind of sad. Yeah. Because he's another one not with us anymore. Yeah, he was super. And he was very talented. He was really too. talented as Very well. talented. He was a lot of fun to watch. He was a great vocalist. He always kind of looked like, I always thought he looked like a spider going across the stage, the way he like <laughs> move around, you know. <laughs> like. Pretty cool. Did he play? Yep. I, he played a little guitar, didn't he? But he was mostly just a vocalist. Mainly a vocalist. Yep. Yeah. It was, was it, always Dean and uh, Robert, two brothers. That both great brother guitar was players. A, yeah. Who was the one was the with the, dark, the real dark? The real dark hair that was kind of slicked back. That was Robert. Robert. Yeah, he was a bass player, and he was. I mean, he was very dedicated to writing for sure. He was the one guy that, when the shows were over and we'd all go back and, you know kind of start to get ourselves in trouble he would always go on the bus and write more songs really he was a real pro huh? very yes hmm. very professional man very nice man a snappy dresser too <laughs> well yeah can, can only say can't say enough about that can't say enough about that <laughs> you yeah. know me and my holy yeah. frog shirt yep right all right well that's enough from so is that enough of a story well yeah it's, story. it's not the best story time you've ever had but it's but it's, well, it, it was all right I don't, yeah. know. I, I don't like to put the pressure on you like that though really i don't you know, know like so. exactly what the rating of this show is so you know, it's a <laughs> well, little family friendly so yeah i think we got an r rating some of the r i think filter through some of the stories right yeah i know i'm sure about that yeah was it did you find that typical though like um when you were out with a lot of those bands did you find that there was like one member of a band that kind of held things together that was more like the, the the pro, the manager, the the glue, and the other guys or girls were just kind of kind of to, wild well, and crazy. I mean, they all were very dedicated. Eric was an excellent drummer. I guess you have yeah, to, I mean, to get to was, that level. Was, I mean, yeah. They, yeah. I, mean, I mean, they, they were very. The, the musicianship people. is so good. So, yeah. I'll tell you a Stone Temple Pilot story real quick. This is like universal. You know, everybody has a writer, or you know. And in their contract, so you get like you know your beer and all that stuff for the show. Oh yeah, right? You, you, right? Yeah, you get a deli tray and only green M and M's and whatever it is that you. <laughs> One of you the choose. best things I ever heard of, and for all musicians, you need to keep this in consideration. One thing they put in their rider was they always had to have what they called munger wear. All right, munger, munger, what? munger wear is okay. what they call it, right? All right, what's munger wear? <laughs> munger wear was fresh packs of underwear. So when they got done with the show. When they went to clean up, they'd take them off and throw the old ones in the trash That's and rad. whip out a new pair of just right there, of undies, right you know, there in right the middle there. of the venue. Well, actually, yeah, a lot. Of- <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, quiet in the back. Yeah, definitely places you wouldn't think you would. Yeah. I've seen some things, man. I can't. I've seen some things. I'm still trying it's to like get the out. Chili peppers, you know. I'm still. No. All right. Well, yeah, that's a great one, actually. And um, that's a good idea, though, right? Or just don't wear underwear. Well, yeah. I mean, that's an option too. I don't know. You might get kind of chaffed or ch- something. During <laughs> yeah. The, during the, yeah. For drummers, I bet your legs would feel more free. Probably. Uh-oh. See. Zach is going commando playing the drums yeah, tonight. Maybe. Yeah, that's it. Catch him at PDM tonight. Yep. <laughs> All you ladies. <laughs> All right. Um, yes, it is. That, that, see, we're, we're moving toward that R rating. Yeah, we're getting there. We're inching yeah, our way there. Real All close right. mark. Slow yeah. but sure. All right. Um, good times. All good times. Self-hug tonight at PDM. Doors are at 8. They're not going to play till 11, but a bunch of other good stuff tonight. Always a lot of fun down there. I don't know if you've ever been there, Kurt, but it's like basically a warehouse, small warehouse type of place. Like a bunch of random couches thrown around here or there. And, um, Spray the paint dude, on the walls. Make sure you bring down uh, some fresh underwear to the show to <laughs> right. give the band. Yeah, sure. Welcome. Bring your best costume. Oh, it's yeah, a costume it's a costume party. party. Wow, all right. Costume party tonight as well. Yes. Are you, are you going to perform in costume? Oh, yeah. Yep. Are you really? Yes. Okay. So I'm not going to ask what you're going to what you're going to be. That oh, would no, be, that would be a giveaway, big but. reveal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. All right. Gosh, that's a, that, that's an even better reason to go. The dude that runs PDM is it still the guy that? Um, okay. Uh, um, he was a shredder guitar player. Uh, um, he worked at the Wolf's Head Tavern for a long time before Wolf's Head closed. Uh, Did he have long hair. Uh, yeah. Um, I think I've definitely seen him around. I think I, I saw him play. Is he in uh, Raven Lynch? I, he's been Raven in so Lynch. many different bands, and, I, and and the metal bands have changed names so many times. Yeah. Uh, but he's definitely a guitar player, very good, very fast metal style. Um, and I think he's still the guy that runs PDM and, and organizes all those shows. And, and uh, tip of the hat to him, because that's really really mm-hmm. a cool sort of independent project they've got For going sure. over there. So anyway, PDM, that'll be fun tonight. you got Self Hug, and who, who else is on the bill? Let's get Brendan back. Yeah, go for <laughs> it. Yeah, Brendan, please. Um, Lauren Stokes, Lawrence. Bummy Music. Who's who's Lauren Stokes? Is that is that an individual or is that the, or is that a band name? Um, she is an individual, right? No, yeah, or, she's a solo artist, but yeah. she's got a backing band tonight. Okay, all right. Yeah, and then um, Bummy Music, Brian Johnston. Right, that's Brian Johnston. Um, Suffer the Masses, very good. What is the other one? Full Clips Emptied. Yeah, DJ Full Clips Emptied. I think. Yeah, so. Full Clips Emptied. <laughs> okay. And uh, us. So and it should Blackwater. be fun. And Blackwater. And, and, yeah. Wow, yeah. Man, one, it's a full yeah. yeah, it's pretty packed. It's so gonna be. It's gonna be. I'm so. I'm very excited for the show. Tonight. Bring your yeah. friends. Bring five dollars. Bring, bring a costume. Bring safety bring gear. Bring vaccination card. A helmet. Please, yeah, bring some earbuds. Yeah, bring Protect some. Yourself. Yeah, bring earplugs. Uh, bring a sword. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't bring weapons. Yeah, yeah, no, don't bring, bring weapons. weapons. <laughs> don't bad. do anything stupid there <laughs> all right it's gonna be a good time tonight at pdm check that out a bunch of good bands including self hugs so all right we're a little after five o'clock um we talked about what's happening around town for the most part um i if the phone's been ringing i haven't even been looking i need to get a, a, a more of a, a flashing a indicator light. if that actually happens but anyway um let's hear another let's another song it. love huh? to what do you guys want to play um, we could do matriarchal welding stamps. Sure. Yeah. What is it called? Okay, so this one, I was in, I took a welding class last year, nice. and all the girls in the welding class kind of grouped up together. And we I love all, welding. I love welding. It's, it's cool. so fun. It's yeah. awesome. But, I'm a welder at work where I work, and I, 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 I can do a little bit. Yeah. 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 I couldn't do the arc welding ever. That it's, one tripped me it's up. It's a challenge. Yes. Or, or, or a, yeah, it's a learning curve for yes. sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But uh, all the girls would stand kind of in a group together because all of us were new and unexperienced. Uh-huh. So we, and one of the girls said we all stand in a matriarchal welding stance. And I thought that was the coolest name ever. That so, is cool. Yeah. Was that like at Career Center? Yeah, for is sure. Is that where you did that? Yes. It was awesome. Well, he's a good skill to have. You never know when you might need to. I wish I was better at it. Metal. Truly, yes. <laughs> All right, we got self hug with us. It's KOPN Columbia, eighty nine point five FM, KOPN dot org. Open mic radio. Hit it.
totally jamming. That's a nice little toe tapper there. Yeah. It's a little bit of a fun one, yeah. Very nice. What's the name of it? Oh, that's the uh, the matriarchal welding circle. Matriarchal welding stance. Oh, yes. Stance. Yeah, there right. yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So are you going to keep welding? Are you going to oh, drop drop the base and pick yeah, up Yeah, the... no, my new career is in welding and mechanics. Yeah, no, sadly, I could only... I think I actually just made a box by the end of the year. <laughs> hey, <that's laughs> I don't ever right. think I made anything of importance. That could but be pretty useful. A box could be useful. If yeah. an apocalyptic skill, maybe I could pull out some welding. Put your weed in there. Yeah. Oh, exactly. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, um, you know... I'm, I can't help but think about that movie Flashdance the, the, one of the worst movies from back in like the 80s and it was like the real hot girl Jennifer Beals I thought you were going to say your favorite and, movie of all time no it was <laughs> it was so bad but, this, but the, the storyline was she was like this real um, you know down and out from, from you know a bad part of town didn't have any family real rough rough luck young lady who's a fantastic dancer Okay. And, and she's trying to make it on Broadway, right? Um, <laughs> but in the meantime, she's a welder, and uh, in, in like in New York City, right? And what? She, yeah, and she's the only welder on the welding crew. And, and anyway, it's just a really bad movie. But well, now I gotta watch it. What's it called? It's called Flash Dance. Fla- oh, okay. Yes, and uh, it's it's so bad. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Now. But it was like the super popular movie at the time. It was like everyone thought it was like the greatest film. They're like, oh my god, did you see Flash Dance? It's like it's so was it lame. because she's pretty? I think that's probably it. Okay, that's normally the kicker. Yeah. There's a lot of like weird dance themed 80s movies oh yeah the they 80s don't do were that the, anymore 80s were the worst did y'all dance a lot was that a thing or was that <laughs> <laughs> tried i guess flash mobs yeah. everywhere what was the uh the dirty dancing that was the other oh one. Yeah. yeah yeah that's a classic oh yeah all the girls loved that one at least when, when in in my my school the girl and the guys were like oh god yeah it's I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right <laughs> yeah times have changed that's no, truly that's for sure <laughs> so anyway um self-hug with us and i want to talk more about the future of the band and recording and that type of stuff um you mentioned you've got a couple things in the in the wings here we're going to do some recording um actually you're sort of in process with some of that stuff right now yeah um are are you do you ever i understand the band is uh, the setup the way that it is but do you have any uh ideas or aspirations to have guests come in and maybe do a little fiddle or play a guest on awesome. the, you know, or a piano solo or so. a lot of bands you know do that I don't know if maybe you're I've I mean, always yeah you go yeah. ahead oh okay. no I've always <laughs> loved the idea of making like a um, maybe like a Columbia showcase type oh, of like compilation and like just try to include as many people from like the local scene we have here into one project so maybe it's like if people find it, they'll be like, "Oh wait, Columbia's actually kind of popping off. They got their own thing going." You know, there was there was actually a uh, an organization about 15 years ago. They called themselves No Coast, No Coast Records. Oh yeah. And and there were a couple of there was one in particular. It was called Das Compilation, nice. and and it was probably 18 or 20 songs of of the real hot. Columbia, mid Missouri bands yeah. back then, maybe 2005, 2006. And it would be great to, to revive that type of a project. Absolutely. For sure. I've been saying it for a long time here that I need to put together a compilation of the best recorded material that I get here in the studio and release a record, you know, with uh, that. Yeah, oh that God. would and, sell, awesome. I think. You know, that would be really cool. And just use it as a fundraiser for the yeah. station or something like that. So um, I would include. You know, you never know. If, yeah. you, if you have a good performance of a song, it may end up on the record. You know, so That'd be awesome. um, the next song we play, we got to do. Guys, this. we got <laughs> to do it really yeah. good. Well, do do what you can, but anyway, we, we have plenty of opportunity. You guys are going to be able to come back sometime for sure, We'd love and to. we'll get your uh, we'll get your fourth and final member in here, and we'll do it. Yes. We'll do it, do it up. Yeah. So high till You sound great today, listening. though. I'm really enjoying yeah. the music. I love I love rock and roll, and I love uh, I love punk rock, and I like loud music, and this is excellent. So. You guys are sounding Rock good. Rock and roll loves you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, Rachel, uh, do you have? Do you guys ever talk? You, you, you're a drummer. You're a guitarist. You're multi-instrumentalist. Kind of I guess. Do you ever mix it up and All say time. like you, like uh, Brendan's going to play drums on this one and I'm going to play guitar and? Yeah. So tonight we actually our current plan is to try "Song for the Dead" by Queens of the Stone Age. Uh, Another great band. Oh, lo- the, my favorite band of all time. Yeah. Love them so much. Uh, so Brennan and I are going to swap for that one. But sadly, I cannot play drums at all. I try so hard. It's terrible. But they swap sometimes during practice, and I just kind of, yeah. you know. 
Right. I'm like, well, I got this one thing I can do. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right. So, uh, yeah, once again, tonight, self-hug at PDM. That's going to be a fun show. We've got about, uh, I don't know, 35, 40 minutes or so. I'm going to uh, let the band take another break here, and we're going to play one from uh, one of your demos. Uh, we played Masochistic Machine, Fuzz Crush. I love the name. And, in fact, that's a great name for a band, Fuzz Crush. That's what, what it was going to be initially. Is, is, is yeah. an, that's one that I would add to my list if I were going to. Yeah. So, um, but uh, tell me a little bit about Fuzz Crush, and then I'm going to play that song. Definitely an older song. We recorded a little bit uh, a while ago. Not we. I think it was just me. I had the like, idea first when I wrote it, and I recorded it with Darkroom. The organ- sure. yeah, the organization at uh, Rockridge. I don't, I don't know where that recording is, but it's like, it's definitely. I maybe wrote it in tenth grade, so it's like, yeah, probably like two years old, I think. All right, hats Pretty off fast. to Darkroom, by the way. They do a great yeah, thing. Yeah, awesome. And uh, yeah, thanks to Darkroom for giving us shows. Also, yeah, we appreciate that for sure. Yeah, we um, have zero. Is it Rob? <laughs> Is it Rob, the guy that runs? So Dave Alger. Dave is, Alger. Yeah. Yeah. I've been lucky enough. I get to be the audio engineer for Rockbridge. So I get to record people after school like two or three times a week now. And it's the most fun thing in the world. So, yeah, we love well, that room here. That's awesome. And you're learning some engineering production stuff, too. Trying. Right? Yes. Very are, difficult. Are you doing any editing, any sound editing? Yes. Yeah, so we haven't gotten to start mixing anything because it's been Rockbridge actually had to shut down because we got hit with the COVID um, so we had to shut down the studio for basically two years. So we're just now opening oh, up as man. of this past week. Yeah. So if anybody wants to come record, please. Oh, yeah. And um, I'm not sure people realize how open that really is. Oh, yeah. um, if you have a project, I, it's mostly I don't, I don't think you can be like I think you have to be a student. I don't think it's really meant for guys my age or something like that. Yeah. But <laughs> uh, but if you are a student and you have a, a and it doesn't have, even have to be a musical project. It can be a spoken word project or a poetry or a combination of some performance art, whatever. Yeah, for sure. Uh, the, the people that are, that, are, that are working over there with Darkroom is awesome, including Rachel, I guess. So um, you can bring your project over there and they'll help you make it, make it real. Yeah, it's right? awesome. Completely free. Yeah. All, and they're kind of giving a like penalty for kids that got screwed over by COVID. So if you're, you know, just recently graduated, hit us up. We will we'll make, a, you in. make an exception. Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. Well, it's again, it's really cool. And you can also learn a lot about what it, what it takes to make a record. Yeah. Uh, what it, I mean, it's not just playing. That that's one side of it. You got to write it. You got to perform it. <laughs> then you got to be able to record it. You got to remember it. You got to yeah. give it a name. You got to. Yeah. You can't make changes to it all the time. Right. You know. No, it's amazing. I mean, there's there's a, a tremendous amount that goes into, you know, making a recorded piece of music. And uh, I give I, I give you guys a lot of credit for 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 getting in there and doing it because it's like anything. It's it, it seems like it should be easy, you know, but gosh, get oh, in man. there and start doing it and you'll find out. And then you really, you really get a feel for people that really are pros and you, and you'll, yeah. and you'll, and you'll be able to see them and you'll know that's a person I want to work with. And that person is whatever. And, uh, anyway, it's super cool. And, uh, the fact that you can get into it at a younger age, I mean, it's a great opportunity. Yeah. And you find, like, I remember being a freshman and meeting all these people that it just, I mean, you would never know so-and-so played the guitar so well or Brendan over here I mean he's a freshman and he plays absolutely like insanely if I I wish I sounded like him when I was a freshman he's he's humble about it but sorry to you I sound okay (laughs) I'm not so bad well no you you, should I I appreciate your your humility and that's that's a good thing to have hold on to that trust me yeah um but uh yeah it's great to great to see you doing okay what about um you're a senior now I I, for some reason I I, you you feel older than that to me but uh do you have plans to stay in Columbia are you going to go to school or are you going to continue your education are you just going to go full on for the music or what's the plan I am super interested in politics I want to be a politician so I'm going to study political science at Mizzou at least for a little bit yeah Ah. maybe go to UMKC later we'll see where it takes us yeah a couple of the Blackwater guys are at UMKC yeah I think Luca Luca's there and Eli uh, oh really Eli Marshall I think he started this year there oh that's awesome yeah Yeah. it's a beautiful campus a really cool place Kansas City is just kind of Columbia but a little bit bigger more city I like Kansas City oh me too it's it's beautiful that's a cool town you know speaking of musicians Luca Merpogo Insane, Damn. so talented yeah. at everything. Yeah, he can he can tear it up. Yeah, for sure. So I, I wonder if he's playing tonight. 
I don't know. Blackwater. I don't know. Hey, uh, Marshall, Eli, <laughs> call me and let me know if, uh, if Luke is going to be there with you all tonight. And I wonder if Bradley's Bradley's still oh, playing. Oh, Snyder's playing. Yeah. Jack Harding. Yeah. Jack's playing guitar now yeah, because uh, uh, Seth is doing something else. Seth, uh, what was Seth's last name? I forget. But he was uh, a good guitar player. I hate to see him go. Um, he's he, insanely good. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's really good. But Jack can jam it out too. So. Oh, yeah. I used to, when I was a freshman, he would come over and play with my older sister. Uh-huh. And I would sit there. Hey, for you might like, want to rephrase. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would sit, <laughs> sit there for a couple hours. You need the rim shot there, man, when I make the joke. You would play you music. <laughs> music alongside other musicians. Yeah. All right, yeah. There you go. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, but I would sit there and watch him for like a couple hours and just like take in whatever he was playing. Yeah, and he kind of yes. looks cool when he plays, too. Oh, yeah. No, he's got the hair. He looks like an. And he plays that like Les Paul, Asian. you know. Oh, like... yeah. He's got that SG, the cherry. Oh, he red. plays the SG. That's yeah. Right. yeah. It's nice. He's, uh, he's awesome. I miss him. That is cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, 522. Stick around at 6 o'clock. Ross Shumba and a reggae party coming at you from 6 o'clock until 8 o'clock. Wonderful roots rock and reggae music, the best in the Midwest. I can guarantee you that. In fact, I got a red striped beer in the in the fridge waiting for you, Rashumba. When you get here, you can celebrate with a nice Jamaican beer. Uh, and we're gonna celebrate with another song. How many more? You got you got you got a few more in you? Oh yeah, we, we could play more. some songs. We uh, we're gonna play for PDM. Would we like to try that? We could. Hey, do a little oh, wow. have a little yeah. sound check here. You it's know, gonna be pretty fun. hard though. PDA. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's see that one. All right. Um, Is that drop D? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Uh, it's KOPN Columbia, 89.5 FM, open mic radio. We're streaming on the web at kopn.org. I've got self-hug with us. Let's bring bring them down just a little bit. Um, yeah, kopn.org. Self-hug in the studio with us. And we're going to blow your, blow your ears up here.
you very much. I heard a Nirvana lick in there. Yeah? I'm sure of it. That was yeah. awesome. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. How many chords are there? That's it, you know, it's amazing how, how every once in a while you hear, hey, that, that's reminiscent of yes. something else. And most of the time it's not even on purpose. It's because the way music just rolls. Sort yeah. of. So anyway, self-hug. Awesome. What, uh, what do you call that one? Uh, D8. D8. Alternate name, constant toothache. Like constant <laughs> is that like the head. position of the tooth? It's in the D8 position? I don't know. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, it smells nice in here. It is. It's a very pleasant afternoon here at KOPN Columbia. We're high up in the Dalton building on uh, 915 East Broadway in between 9th and 10th up the stairs there uh, in the Dalton building. We love it here. And KOPN is probably moving sometime in the next year or so i have a feeling um why yeah i I know it's it's sort of a traumatic uh, topic but uh, there's been a lot of talk for for quite a few years actually about relocation relocating the station first of all the primary thing about kopn is we call it it's open access we the idea is that if you're a community member and you want to get involved in radio you can do it here we are high up in the dalton building and it's very difficult to get up here first of all if you have any kind of a uh, of a physical disability. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that, that's one of our major concerns. We want to make it really available that anybody can get up get up here if they if they need to. Um, and we also are in a situation where the uh, real estate market has changed, and the and the, the gentleman that used to own this property, Mr. Dalton, uh, this is called the Dalton Building. Um, KOPN had a very reasonable arrangement with him for many many years. Mm-hmm. That potentially could be changing now he's no longer alive and his children oh. are running the show and there may you know you just things change so yeah um so we're keeping our options open but looking for a uh, a cool spot still downtown of course you know most likely and uh um just to if place you to have any land you'd like to donate please <laughs> give us a call yeah or a building that's uh, you know that's that's totally wired for radio we'd uh, we'd be up for it so but you know i always say it on on the program and i'm not joking we we, we do uh, we do exist primarily from the goodwill of the community members around here. There are a lot of wonderful people that donate their time and their money to KOPN and have for almost 50 years. KOPN began broadcasting in 1973. Whoa. Uh, so Man. one of the oldest uh, community radio stations in the country. And in the 70s, when KOPN uh, began broadcasting, there were community radio stations everywhere. Almost every little town had a, had had their own community station, and it was really cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, big giant corporations and lots of strange political happenings and just life in the world uh, evolved and changed. And now there are just a handful left, and I mean a handful, yeah. uh, probably under ten. Uh, Nah, that's probably a, a that's probably an overstatement. But there's not many of them, and there certainly aren't very many that are that are as old as KOPN and have been established the way that we have been. So, um, so I certainly really do appreciate the support that we've had from the community for all these years. And I would uh, challenge the community members. In fact, the wealthy ones is the ones that I they're the ones that I'm challenging, because there are some folks in Mid Missouri that have lots and lots of dough, and. Uh, KOPN is a is actually a small a small uh, target when it comes to uh, uh, the amount of money required to operate. A um, million dollars would 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 take KOPN to the moon. Where yeah. where where a million dollars for some of these large corporations is like nothing. Yeah. Um, and and so in a, well, in our a lot of it functions just on volunteers. You know, primarily. Yeah, there are very but few you people. You still got to pay the bills. Yeah, I mean, you, know? you got to uh, get the lights on and forty thousand watt transmitter, twenty four seven, forty thousand watts. Think, wow. think, mm-hmm. think of four hundred, one hundred watt light bulbs burning all the time, <laughs> all the day, every, <laughs> never expensive. stopping, and you yeah. get to pay for it's a couple thousand dollars a month just just for the transmitter. I'm sure. You yeah. know, so uh, anyway, this isn't a pledge drive, and I'm not uh, <laughs> I'm not supposed to be begging for money, but if you if you're an angel. And you got some money out there. Think about helping KOPN find a new location and help us out with this uh, this search for a for a new place to house this remarkable community radio station that's been doing it now for almost fifteen. Uh, help for, keep for 15 going, years. but also bring more people in. Hell yeah, we're just gonna we're, we're just gonna make it better. Yeah. Um, I've got, I mean, not myself, but lots of people have lots of great ideas about making KOPN even more of a. Um, Multimedia type of thing, you know. It used to be TV was there, radio was there, 
internet was there. Now it's, they're all, I mean, it's multimedia. I mean, there's no reason why we can't be uh, live streaming this right now. And people could be watching oh, self hug that would be really play cool. in the studio and watch yeah. me and Kurt make fools of ourselves. And, <laughs> and, uh, you know, and, and combine that with uh, cat TV, for example, or I don't know, there's, there, there's lots of potential. And we used to call KOPN and I still do the imagination station. And, Aww. And and that's that's really what what drives art is cr- imagination, and then of course you gotta you gotta take it from the image and make it real. But uh, you know, imagination, and then uh, and then make the art out of it. So that's what we're trying to do here at KOPN, and I appreciate musicians coming here and doing it right here with us in the studio. I'm so pleased. Thank you again for coming down. I love this. Thank you so oh, much yeah. for so, having us. All right, very cool. Um, we got. We got 20 minutes or so. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to keep telling you to keep playing. Let's hear some music. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Rock on. Let's, Let's do it. Find a song. Self-hug once again. They're, they're tuning up for this evening. They've got a show at PDM here in Columbia, and you can check them out sometime this evening. They'll probably be playing around 10 or 11 o'clock, but lots of good music down at PDM tonight, and uh, lots of good stuff all around Columbia. All right. You're listening to it right now. It's KOPN Columbia, 89.5 FM. My name is Mike Hagan. This is Open Mic Radio. You check us out on the web at KOPN. Org and also, um, I'll mention the podcast. I, I need to get to, I need to put this in my in my rap more often. But uh, yeah, this this show is is podcast as well. So if you missed self hug this afternoon, you can you can get uh, the latest open mic radio in your podcast player tomorrow morning or whenever I upload the show. So um, consider going to mikehagan.com and go to open mic radio and subscribe to the podcast. And you can hear self hug and a bunch of other great musicians that have been on the program over the last few years. So, all right, Rachel. That's awesome. Okay. This next one is another original called uh, reptile politicians. Very good. That's one of the ones I've got uh, on, on the demo. Very cool. All right. Once again, self hug. <clears throat> Sister, I can't sleep and I can't sleep. Meditation, masturbation, I don't think and I can't think. I love the finish. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Rock and roll. Self-hug. KOPN Columbia, 89.5 FM. You're listening to it. It's Open Mic Radio. Great stuff. Rachel, Zach, and Brandon. makes me feel warm and fuzzy. Oh, oh. I like it. I like Thank it. Thank you very much. It's going to be a rock and roll show tonight at PDM. 
check that out, folks. If you've got uh, if you've got no plans tonight, all right. And um, and I I know you said earlier on the show when your when your next one is at Cooper's. That's two weeks from now. When is it? Yeah, October thirtieth. October thirtieth. Yeah. Now that is like All Hallows Hall- Eve. All Hallows Eve. Eve. Oh yeah. Eve. Yeah. Well, I wonder if people would be dressed up down there on the river. Hopefully. Yeah, we should make it a costume show. Yeah? Oh, yeah. So now it's just going to be a, another costume show. Another, I'm in costume. You guys already have your costumes, so you won't have Maybe to Maybe we'll switch it up. You yeah. can have Zach wear yours, and he can wear... <laughs> yeah, yeah, perfect. You <laughs> <be>. <laughs> <laughs> Every right. time I've been down there, it's been a What are we going to do for <laughs> Halloween? <laughs> I don't know. You said you were taking me out somewhere. Oh, man. Aww. You going trick-or-treating? I'd love to, actually. That, was, that yeah. used to be one of my favorite. I think Halloween I as a kid a was my favorite costume. holiday. It was better than better than Christmas, better than any. I loved Halloween. How, I thought that was the coolest. How old is too old to go trick-or-treating? I don't think there is an age. If you showed up at my door in a good costume, I'll give you candy. <laughs> yeah, because, I, mean, yeah, I mean, I'll just dress up like an old man. I'm old, yeah, I'm old. Yeah, like, wow, I don't even need a costume. <laughs> I scare dude. people. I scare people just when I walk down the street. <laughs> yeah, I know. It took me a while to get used to you, but I, mean, I always, always say that's a smile. Oh. Sorry, that's why you... I didn't mean to frighten you, but I'm, I'm just having a good day. <laughs> hey, is your is your daughter coming to, to the show next week? Uh, I believe she's coming maybe on the thirtieth. Okay, two weeks from now. Yes. All right, what did I say is next week on the All Hallows Eve Eve show? Uh, oh, yeah. Johnny Fox and Fox Deluxe next week. Yeah. Um, Crone Sacks. Okay, so you're familiar with. Um, uh, Blake Gardner and the Farmers. I'm not. Okay, though, another yes. local band, fantastic. Yes. Blake is like, um, he plays guitar, and this is a compliment. I know some people wouldn't think it is, but like Dave Matthews. Huh. He, that, can, that can be a compliment. Yeah. I, yeah. Some people talk shit about Dave. Pardon my language about Dave Matthews, but he's a super skilled musician, and I'm telling you, Blake can play, and he's and he and he almost sings like a, like a. Like a hip hop Jack Johnson thing, almost. I don't know. Yeah, he, he's he's he's, he's, he's really like good. That. Yeah, yep. really good, and has a great band behind him. But anyway, this guy Crone used to play the saxophone for for Blake, but now he's doing a solo sax gig. <gasps> Love that. Yeah, that so, sounds sweet. Solo saxophone gig is, and he goes by Crone Sax. So he'll be here um, sometime soon. We haven't scheduled that. Elephant Foot, the week after. Uh, on the 6th I'll be gone next week my father died on last Saturday oh, I'm so sorry oh my gosh I, yeah um, and he he lived with me he, he'd been w- staying with me here in at my house in Roachport since June and he was quite old he was 87 years old and anyway he had some serious medical issues over the last couple of months anyway he passed away last Saturday he's from the Illinois uh, Chicago area where I'm from and so uh, I will be gone next weekend taking care of my father. And uh, yeah. so I won't, I won't be here. Thought, yep. and, um, He's a good man. He had was. A wonderful record collection. He has, he has an a, amazing record collection. And now I have, I have his collection. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we're going to go through. Place, we're we're like, going to start going yeah. through more of that stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to donate the stuff that I really that I don't like a lot. I'll probably donate to the station here. I think. So you're going to double and, their uh, collection? Pretty well, much. I don't know. He had maybe, about he had almost eight thousand. <gasps> he has like, like, that, like that many. Well, there's there's well over eight thousand in oh, there. Oh, yeah. There's probably twenty or thirty thousand in there. Oh, <laughs> but I bet your dad. But my dad had about he yeah, had about seven and eight thousand. He was a huge radio album collector, vinyl. You know. Oh my god! Yeah. Everything from and he was old, so he had fifties, sixties, seventies. You know, oh, sweet, yeah. and that's the most beautiful thing to inherit. From, I'm like your father. I'm thrilled. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And f- in fact, he uh, he wasn't a musician, but he had a great love of music, and he and and I got my love of music from my dad for sure. And and uh, and even though I consider myself kind of a musician, I'm 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 not I'm not I'll never be a professional. Uh, but I, but I, but I, but I certainly have a good ear, and I can tell you what's good and what isn't. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and I got that from my dad for sure. I think it's awesome that when he uh, would get off work, he would just stop by the local record store and buy know, whatever the latest was. was. Kind of part of his routine oh. is what he told me. Yeah. You he'd know, say, nice. oh, what, what was released this awesome. week?" And he'd say, uh, yeah, "Yeah, that looks cool. That looks cool." <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. That's that, so cool. You know those. Um, the record store days were really cool. They don't you don't really have a lot of that anymore. You got hit records here in town. Yeah, I always I always love going to hit records. That's, it's such a nice like calming like environment. Yeah, it's I just think. a cool environment to yeah. go to go yeah, into. We go there all the time. It's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. And, the, and the guys that run that place are cool too. Oh yeah, so, so sweet. Anyway, you know, it used to be uh, 
there were record stores all over the place, you know, and, and, I bet, uh, yeah. and cause that's, that was the only place you got, you could get your music, no internet, you know, yeah. and no Spotify, no Spotify. Yeah. And, and you know, there's something to be said. I'm, I'm old school, but there's something to be said for having your own collection because, uh, sp- you know, Spotify doesn't like me. They can kick me off, you know, and, yeah. or, the, or if I don't pay my bill or if, or, or whatever, if my internet goes down, you know, I'm, I'm screwed, but. If you got your albums, yeah. you got your record player, you speaking from experience, right, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're always trying to throw me out. I was calling back, say, hey, I'm not paying this month. You guys are ripping everybody off. Artists play eleven million hits and they got five hundred dollars. Yeah, no it's money. like yeah. what is going on? Yeah. yeah. I always think about Jack White, he always says that you lose something magical about music if you can't hold it. Like something about a CD or a record or a cassette. It's it's well, true. And you know, yeah. Rach, you, you were talking Thanks. earlier and uh, um, before the show about mm-hmm just album artwork it's a lost art, or album sequencing when people just press shuffle like yeah. it used to be something that you you have your side a your side and you know B and, and with L, and with with vinyl with lps you you had a a, a pretty good piece of of yeah of canvas estate, to work yeah. with so, yeah. so some of the records you know you know the older uh recordings the the artwork uh, on the on the album and the liner notes and everything involved. I mean the Be- the Beatles White album for f- is, I mean that's 1969. When was it? Or seven? Yeah, huh? yeah, 68. Okay, and if you've ever seen an actual physical uh, copy of the, uh, the vinyl, I mean there's photos in there of the it's Beatles. Gorgeous. There's like that insert that's like the um, what's that small? There's like a card in there or something like. Yeah, they had a bunch. I know, like, all kinds Sergeant of Sergeant Peppers. They had like little cutouts. And oh all yeah, that, like, Sergeant, yeah, yeah. Sergeant Peppers got to be one of the most like iconic Incredible. albums. A lot of albums like did that back in the day. Yeah. I know the Who would like put stuff in there. Oh, the Stones you know, had all kinds. Yeah. 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 The zipper like, right on yeah. the yeah. album cover. Yeah. Anyway, so album art and that kind of stuff is lost, and it's too bad because it's really that was really cool. Yeah. We went to Hit the other week, and I think Zach bought two records just because yeah. they looked cool. Yeah. yeah. So like, it's another way to loop people in. And that's a good way to find new music too. I've done that plenty of times. I've been like. You know shuffling. what? This looks pretty cool. I wonder, like, who would yeah, put like, this image on like a uh, album? You <laughs> yeah. know, let's <laughs> right. Let's this see what like this is. You know, mm-hmm. no doubt about Sometimes it. Sometimes I'd be attracted more to the artwork, even than the name of the band. Yeah, you know, it could work both ways. <laughs> yeah, you know? right on. All right, look, we have got about 15 minutes left of this program, and that means that uh, Rashumba is going to join us here in about 15 minutes and begin the reggae party. So, oh, is I'm he in g- for a surprise? Oh, yeah. So what we're going to do, since we've got a little equipment that we've got to shuffle out of here, we're going to have one more live one okay, sweet. from our, uh, our guests this afternoon. They're called Self Hug. We've had Brendan and Zach and Rachel in with us all afternoon, and I appreciate them coming down here. It's been a lot of fun. And you can catch them tonight at PDM. Excellent uh, venue to see some rock and roll. And that's happening this evening. Doors at 8 o'clock. You can catch Self Hug probably around 11 or so, but uh, lots of good stuff before and probably probably afterwards. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, we'll have one more from Self Hug. Then we'll say our goodbyes. You can get us out of here, and then we'll play uh, we'll play that one on the way out. That's called for the time being. That'll be the last thing that we do before we get Mr. Rashumbo in get here. Get out and okay? enjoy the day, Columbia. Exactly, do that. Well, and uh, outlying areas, not just Columbia. Yeah, we're all over I see the place. Like really, yeah, here, yeah, I'll do the I'll do the I'll over. do the real official thing here. Be sure to uh, uh, check us out on the web at KOPN. Dot org, but if you can't, um, we're still reaching all around Columbia. It's Armstrong, Glasgow, Guthrie, Alvas, Hallsville, Madison, Russellville, Salisbury, Sedalia, oh. McBain, Mexico, Midway, yeah. Herman, High Hill, yeah, Fulton, Hunsdale, New Franklin, Versailles, or Versailles, <laughs> Wilton, Woldridge, Bell, Bonnet, Bonnet's Mill. Haven't been there in a while. Bunston, Centerton. Okay, you get it. A lot of them. Bunston. We're all over the place. We appreciate you all listening. I can see my red dots on the the map. It's my favorite thing to do is go look at my listeners, and I see everybody there with their their little red dot. Keep tuning in, people. (laughs) Thanks Um, for listening. Absolutely. Thank you. And uh, thank you, uh, Self Hug. Self Hug. Yeah. Tell the name. All right. So this last one is called uh, Not Buying a Crossbow for $200. Yep. Yep.
Oh, I need to turn my own mic on. I'm yelling here. I'm like, we're, that was awesome. All right, self hug. That is, uh, don't buy a crossbow for two hundred bucks or something like that. Yeah, yeah like that's what it is. <laughs> All right, is that another Zach Gaines song? Uh, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. I forget. Once again, uh, you've been listening to it here. It's Open Mic Radio. We just got a few minutes. We're going to say goodbye and uh, wrap it up here. But great time this afternoon with Self Hug. You can catch them this evening. Yeah, PDM tonight. A lot of lot, lot of lot of fun. I can tell the band's looking forward to it. And when the band's looking forward to a show, you can imagine you're going to have a good time. Cause, oh yeah. Because so. uh, the energy gets kind of transferred out there. So. Oh, yeah. Anyway, lots of good music tonight at PDM. I hope y'all have a great night and uh, have a great show tonight. Thank you very yeah. much. All right. Yeah, Brendan, thank you for having us. Pleasure to meet you, dude. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Rachel, thank you. Thank you so much. Zach, you too, man. Thank you very much. All right. It was awesome. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Just uh, we'll start hauling stuff out of here. and yeah. But go over in the other room, and I'll see you before, before we leave. Okay? No problem. Okay, cool. All right, everyone, it's Mike, and you're listening to Open Mic Radio on KOPN Columbia. We'll hear one more from, uh, from Self Hug on the way out here. It's going to be called For the Time Being, and it's one, uh, one I think it's another Zach. Zach, that's another one of your yeah. songs? Yeah. And you guys were making jokes about it at the beginning of the show. What's, what, what's it about? Well, it has I some... don't think we would like to further discuss <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, no comment, no comment. <laughs> okay, all right. I was the trying... lyrics aren't published, basically. All right, all right. Sounds good. Um, we'll let uh, let people judge that for themselves here in just a few minutes, okay? All right. Uh, let's see. Kurt is here with us, but we're not going to go, go, go away quite yet, Kurt. Let's... Uh tell everyone once again we will be gone next week i'll find some i'll either do a recorded show um See, and i even told you what? that you said that uh you're right i said it was next week fox yeah, deluxe i've I been go, saying that I the whole fox show deluxe is the next week and you're well, like nope nope well okay oh all right so this is what i should say next week was supposed to be clark layshock uh, clark layshock is a uh uh, well, he's a great drummer, um, but he's playing guitar now. And what he does is he records a backtrack, um, and then right. he pl- and then he plays on top of it. It's kind of like a loop type of thing. But he's going to do it here in the studio. So I had to reschedule with Clark uh, because we're going to be gone next weekend. Right. But so, then the following week, but will the be following week will be Fox Deluxe. Deluxe. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And um, I think I all right. Thanks today. for correcting me. Sorry. Sorry. I sit corrected. That's all right. Okay, so um, that's what's happening in... uh, We'll let it slide this time. All right. (laughs) A couple weeks from now, though, we will have Fox Deluxe. We've got Elephant Foot after that. OK Samaritan coming in soon. And uh, Crone Sax, Mason Van Ghost, Molly Healy, January Lanterns. I got in touch with... uh, um, uh, with Kristen from from the January Lanterns just the other day, I actually ran into her at Murray's uh, a couple weeks ago, and we're going to get them back on the show. So lots of great stuff coming up in the next uh, weeks and months. So stick around, come on back and uh, and uh, check us out again on the web kopn.org. And once again, you can get the uh, the podcast for Open Mic Radio right there uh, on the website as well. Okay, all right. We appreciate you all joining us. We sure do. And uh, good I times. Guess, I guess that's about it. So. Uh, yeah, we're out next week. I'll be back on the 30th. Kurt will be with me with Fox Deluxe. Send me some music between now and then. Uh, Get in touch with us. Let us know about music that uh, either you know about or that you've seen. We like uh, yeah. hearing like local reviews. If you've gone to a show recently, yeah, you know, like, and yeah call in. You can call us. Yeah, we can't, we're, we're running out of time today, but you know we always have the phones open. So anyway. We hope, can find time to chat sometime. Well, if the phone rings, I'll pick it up. Anyway, yeah. I hope you all enjoy the rest of the weekend. And be cool to yourself out there. Be cool to other people. And we'll talk with you all in a couple weeks with Fox Deluxe. We'll catch you all then.